Driver's Ed was a popular class at my high school. There was so much to learn. Parallel parking, all those street signs. Quick, is a yield an upside down or regular triangle? But Driver's Ed of the future may be a very short class. I mean, how long does it take to learn, get in the car, now read a book? Allie Ward explains. When you're young, driving a car is the coolest thing ever. But after spending years sitting in hideous traffic, torturous family road trips, and circling the mall for a parking spot, you might be thinking, when will they come up with a magic car that can just drive me around by itself? Good news is, companies like Google are working on it. Bad news is, it'll be years before you can buy one. In the meantime, there's Cruise, a device you can add to your existing car that turns it into a self-driving one. Cruise was developed by self-described car nut Kyle Vogt. I heard Kyle and his team worked out of a garage in San Francisco. Oh, it's a garage. This is a garage. This is the garage. This is uh, where everything is designed and built right here. I've been interested in automotive technology since I was at least 13. That was the first time I actually tried doing a self-driving car. I built this car mm -hmm. and put a computer and a webcam on it and taught it to drive following the yellow line in a parking lot. Kyle works with a group of engineers building each cruise unit. It's similar to the automatic pilot on airplanes and it could have a huge impact on highway safety. Every year there's over a million car accidents in the U.S. alone. And the scary thing is that 90% are caused by the drivers themselves, the humans behind the wheel. And so that represents an enormous opportunity for the machines to improve. What's right. he doing? Uh, so Kevin is working on controls. Once the car estimates where it needs to be on the road, to send those commands to the steering motor. And doing it in, in, in a way where it's very smooth and doesn't overshoot or oscillate is very difficult science, almost like an art. These are the computer vision guys. Um, they figure out what's in the camera image, where the lane markers are, and try to figure out where the vehicle is relative to the road. OK, so Kyle, I'm looking at this, and I can tell that it's cruise related, yes? This is it, yeah. And we call this the sensor pod. So all the sensors that this vehicle needs to drive itself are in this one unit here. So it's got the cameras, the radar, and the GPS all in this box. The next part of the system is the drive-by-wire interface, which you can't really see, but we've installed underneath the steering column so we can control your steering wheel, your gas pedal, and your brake pedal while the system's running. The last piece ties it all together. It's the brain, uh, which is our computer system that's in the trunk here. Oh, there's a computer in the trunk. Yeah, let's visit it. Thinking back here. Ah, that's it? Yep, here it is. Yes, so. Okay. Yeah, everything, all, all the processing is done right here. This computer takes in data from the sensors, from the sensor pod, and sends out signals to the actuators to drive your car. And that's it. All right, so now that we know how it works, can we take it for a drive? Yeah, let's take it for a spin. Okay, good. I'm like a tiny bit scared, like the tiniest bit, because no one's driving the car. Are we ready to go? We're ready. <gasps> Welcome to Cruise. Yeah. It just welcomed us. Yeah, so that's it's telling us it's it, everything's good and we're ready to go. So I'm gonna give it a shot here and see what happens. All right. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's haunted with science. Oh my gosh! It's like twitching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just making minor corrections as it notices us drifting to the left or to the right. Wait, you're sitting. Your feet are not on any pedals. Your hands are not on any wheels, and we are going down the freeway at 60 miles an hour. Yeah, we're cruising. <laughs> Right now, Cruise is only meant for driving on highways. Since it's not a fully automated car, it falls under the same regulations as your car's cruise control. And we kept driving much more efficiently than other people around us. We're sitting within about 10 to 20 centimeters of the exact center of the lane, whereas most people driving around here are closer to a meter off center. Yeah, look, what is he doing? <laughs> He's driving so much worse than us, and we're not driving. Yeah. That's crazy. No hands. But Cruise is designed to work on most cars made after 2012. And kits will be available starting next year. The technology we have on this car is designed in a way that it would be easy to move it from one car to another. So the computer won't change, the sensors won't change, just the way they're mounted in the car. Cruise disengage. I'm ready to go. Bye. Bye. Does she have a name, that lady? Uh, no, we haven't named her. What? Her name is Leslie. <laughs> Leslie's good, okay. yeah. Thanks, Leslie. I would take life advice from that lady. If she were like, trim your bangs, I would be like, okay.